Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the Dynamic Engineers. So today we are here with a topic that is lap length. What is lap length? What are the thumb rules that are used but to calculate lap length? Today we are going to talk about it. So what is lap length? Why it is required? And how will we calculate lap length? This is an important question. The thumb rules used for the calculation of lap length. So what is lap length? First, so lap length is that length of any steel bar that is required to transfer flexural load from one bar to another bar. Why do we need? Why do we need to transfer flexural load from one bar to another bar? This is an important question. So whenever you are using steel bars and any steel member and any RCC member and you do need to provide that steel bar in a length which is greater than standard bar length like the standard bar length is 12 meter okay now if you remember like a beam is longer than 12 meter or a column that is higher than 12 meter which is a normal case in high-rise buildings or in a beam case even in small buildings which are longer than 12 meter we will have to use reinforcement that will be longer than 12 meter but the standard bar size is 12 meter so like if this is a beam look at this and here we are using a bar okay now this bar can go up to 12 meter and after 12 meter this beam is a continuous beam but the bar length is 12 meter so we will have to provide an another bar so that it may reach this point okay now if the bar length is 12 meter then we will have to provide a length a bar which will transfer the load from this bar to this bar and this bar to this bar now that length which is required when we are going for a member longer than 12 meter is the lap length like here in this beam you can see this length is the lap length of this bar so this was the definition or this was the purpose of lap length that why do we provide lap length now what are the different values which are needed to provide lap length so in normal i will be talking about building construction okay so in normal building frames we have beams we have slabs and we have columns so we have we do need to know about these three members that what will be the value of lap length in beams and columns and slabs okay so we will be talking about the thumb rules okay so the thumb rule for providing lap length is the value of lap length in columns is 45 d okay this is the diameter of the bar so this means that higher the diameter of the bar longer will be the at splice length like if you are using 12 millimeter bar its lap length will be smaller than a bar of 20 mm okay lap length is directly proportional to the diameter of the bar or higher the diameter of the bar longer will be the lap length so this is the value for column for beams it is 60 D this is the diameter and for slab it is 60 55 to 60 D it is 60 and 55 D sorry this is 55 D so for slab we use a value of 55 to 60 D for beam it is 60 D and for column it is 45 D so these are different values of lap length that we will be providing during building construction. So I hope you would have understood the concept of lap length that why do we need and what are the thumb rules. For lap length IS 
that is the Indian standard and SEI are providing us some formulas but if those formulas are round about like if you round about those formulas then it will give us these values that 45d of column 60d for beam and 60 uh, 60 to 55 to 60d for slab so i hope you would have learned something from this and uh, these are the values that you do need to memorize because whenever you go for inspection or whenever you will have to design a beam a column or a slab you will have to provide these by thumb rule otherwise the lap length is something that is recommended by the designer during design process so i hope you would have learned something from this video and if you have learned don't forget what am i saying don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you may get other videos as well thank you very much